Sensitive and confidential EPA documents are uncovered and they deal with the handling of frac fluid, millions of gallons of toxic water from the natural gas extraction process. Good evening, everyone. I'm Candace Kelly. A buzz follows a special report Sunday by the New York Times questioning how Pennsylvania regulates the natural gas industry, specifically how the leftover water is treated and released into Pennsylvania rivers. Our Joe Holden is on the story and live in the control center. Joe. Candace, and this is some of the material that the New York Times was working with when it went after officials with the EPA and the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. It's as thick as a phone book, maybe thicker, and there are some troubling accusations contained in these papers. To extract natural gas from deep rock formations in the Marcellus Shale, millions of gallons of water are used. The water is then recovered. Now a toxic soup known as frac fluid. It's transported away for treatment. In the three pounds of documents uncovered by the New York Times, a troubling pattern emerges. In some instances, wastewater was treated at Pennsylvania plants, where such facilities reportedly had no ability to remove myriad contaminants, including radioactive material. What's worse, documents concluded an overall lax approach to industry oversight and the disposal of frac fluid. Calls to area wastewater plants suggested none was treating frac fluid, at least not yet. John Menorah has been retained by the Wyoming Valley Sanitary Authority to identify steps to equip the Hanover Township plant to handle frac fluid. As for the New York Times report, he said Pennsylvania tightened regulations within the last several weeks. They were talking about what was going on a year or two years ago with high disposals through sewage treatment plants, high salt uh, levels in the rivers from that. Menorah said the industry is now increasingly recycling and reusing frac fluid, avoiding river discharges that experts told the New York Times could jeopardize drinking water for people downstream. Tom Junta with the Gas Drilling Awareness Coalition sharply opposes any plan to treat frac fluid at a sewage plant and is critical of state leaders. I've been beating my head against the wall trying to talk to local government officials and people making the decisions about these issues and nobody seems to be listening. Everybody says it'll be all right. Back live, repeated phone calls to the Department of Environmental Protection went unanswered. Also, a call to the governor's office was never returned, seeking information about reaction to all of the information contained in, in these reports about alleged oversight or the lack thereof going on right now in the state of Pennsylvania. We are live tonight in the Control Center. I'm Joe Holden, Fox 56 News, first at 10. Kendis.